dense fog is expected through the night into tomorrow morning and possibly even into the afternoon. Uh, rain is also likely overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. I would expect that the rain should more or less subside by the afternoon. And then here's a look at uh, where the temperatures are, are headed. 40s likely tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday. And it will get cooler after that, but not much colder. Here's a look at the visibility right now. Well, that's not great. Uh, Fort Wayne at under a mile, 1.5 miles in Huntington, 3.8, uh, 3.6 rather in Burn about uh, 0.3, so well under a mile in Auburn at about a mile or so in Angola, half a mile in Kendallville. And we are expecting pretty dense fog for the rest of the night. Most everybody about a half a mile, maybe a mile visibility through tomorrow morning. So I know you probably don't want to hear this, but it's not impossible that there could be some delays due to fog now. Uh, so it's not so much the ice that we got to be concerned about. Driving should be OK, even if again, visibility is going to be low at times. But there's the potential, particularly before sunrise, that there could just be some delays due to some of the fog that will be uh, essentially lingering through tomorrow morning. As a result, a dense fog advisory was issued by the National Weather Service until 11 a.m. for visibility of a quarter mile or less. This would include all of northern Indiana and portions of northwest Ohio. Mercer County is included there. Van Wert, Paulding, Defiance, Williams counties not included under the advisory, although I mean it's still going to be quite foggy. And so I'd still plan on uh, some of those uh, low visibilities extending into northwest Ohio too. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that dense fog advisory expanded. Satellite and radar showing the coldest air bringing snow and freezing rain to much of the area, uh, I should say north of uh, Fort Wayne into southern Michigan uh, last night early this morning, is now gone. That is no longer our problem. We're now looking at much warmer, warmer air with some rain likely overnight tonight. How much warmer? Look at temperatures in Dallas, 50, 56 in Memphis, 36 in Kansas City. All that Arctic air is completely gone. You can look across the country, except for maybe far northern Maine, nobody is dealing with super bitterly cold temperatures like we have the past couple of weeks. The nightly planner shows a pretty redundant forecast. A temperatures above freezing, thankfully, but foggy. Foggy all the way through tomorrow morning with that rain chance likely by about 6 a.m. Here's a look at future track. A few scattered showers by about midnight to 1, but that rain increases here overnight tonight. Here we are at about 5 a.m. Through 7 a.m., we're going to see some steady rain, so get prepared for a foggy and wet morning commute tomorrow morning. By mid-morning, early afternoon, could see some pockets of moderate rain. And then between 2 and 4, we're going to turn that steady rain to more scattered showers. There'll be a lull in the activity through Thursday afternoon. It isn't until maybe about 1 or 2 that we start to see that rain start to increase a little bit once again with a rainy night ahead Thursday night into early Friday morning. So yeah, a couple rounds of rain. What that's going to look like through about midday Wednesday is about three quarters of an inch, half an inch to three quarters of an inch, to kind of depending on where you are. But most of us seeing a pretty a good rain here by tomorrow afternoon. And then from Wednesday into Thursday, about another half an inch. So over the next couple of days into early Friday, we could see an inch or more of rainfall. This is rain that we still need. We want to make sure we can stock up before we get to spring and hope that we don't uh, get, end up too dry. As we uh, look at the seven day forecast, you can see the trend here. Pretty mild, 46, some PM rain Thursday into Thursday night. Cloudy Friday, 43. Temperatures dip a little bit over the weekend, turning breezy at times too. Sunday, 39. And then we're going to be at about 40 degrees, give or take, into early next week with lows just slightly back below freezing. All right. Thank you so much, Matt. Next